awesome iPhone lets you animate 3D models of iPhones to present your footage or even demo an iOS app. Awesome iPhone was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Awesome iPhone. To best match your project's needs, you have the options of Awesome iPhone with a legacy form factor and matte finishes, and Awesome iPhone 10 with a notched display and a glossier look. I've got some edited footage and a title on my timeline. I'll create a compound clip and drop the iPhone 10 effect onto the whole thing. Then I'll place a white background generator below. My footage isn't vertical, so I'll uncheck Vertical Source. Everything in the compound clip is now on the screen of the iPhone 10, ready to be customized. I can choose between space gray or silver, or choose draft mode, which lets me set up my animations quickly on a generic version of the device. In this mode, I can even customize the colors. If I play back the default effect, we can see the iPhone travel from point A to point B with a slight rotation. The Move dropdown allows us to control which parameter states the animation goes from and to, currently set to A to B. Instead of keyframing anything, I simply set the rotation, position, and scale values for A, then set different values for B. The animation will run from A to B automatically, starting at the beginning of the clip. Changing duration and takeoff and landing styles, I can create exactly the look and feel I want. Twirl down the rotation triangles to make adjustments to individual axes. These can be set beyond 360 degrees for spins or flips. Blading and edit on my compound clip will restart the animation from A to B, but by changing move on the second clip to B to A, the phone will now animate back to the A values. Since the B values are kept identical for both clips, we now have seamless playback across the edit. Here's an example of a multi-move animation going from A to B, then B to new values for A, and finally A to full screen. There are extensive controls for the on-screen footage. I'll scale it up a bit to fit the longer aspect ratio of the iPhone X and adjust the screen content pan. I can adjust the screen brightness or even add a glow. You can change or customize the back logo of the phone by keeping the Apple logo, replacing it via a drop zone, or even choosing none. The simple shadow parameters give us some quick but quality shadow options. The depth blur parameters give us even more options for added realism. Awesome iPhone is a great special effect for your video toolbox and a must-have if you're an iOS developer that would like to demo your app professionally. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.